name is Enza McDonald. I paint under the name of Ego Luna. I'm an Italian visual artist based in Dublin. My style combines different techniques and media to create compositions alternating between figuration and abstraction. I mainly paint with acrylics, but I have recently rediscovered the enjoyment of painting with oils, mainly in my figurative works. Making art for me is the process of connecting deeply with myself, the space I reserve for reflection and daydreaming, the time I reserve to nurture creativity, experimenting with color, texture, new patterns and forms. It is a fascinating experience, like a parallel world to be discovered, where the lines are the infinite possibilities and the colors the pulsating soul. Art for me is freedom, an amazing channel of communication and expression. There is no complication, there are no rules. It's all about instinct, feelings, research, practice, engagement and commitment. My subjects are usually symbolic figures, whimsical scenes against the backdrop of abstract backgrounds. I am attracted by the beauty of human figure and by the effects and endless combinations of vibrant colors. All this is reflected in my collections of life drawings, color pourings, mixed media, stencil art and digital photography. How you doing? Pigsy here. Glad to be part of the group show Savage in Inspire Gallery. I have four pieces in the show, two original, two prints. The first original piece is Insatiable Greed. The second original piece is Not Blind in here. Both are mixed media ca on canvas. The two prints are I Find You Fascinating and A Nation of Fools. And they are in Pigsy designed bespoke frame and are editions of 50. Insatiable Greed, a 1.6 by 1.6 meter mixed media on canvas. I pose the question, is the past a reflection of the future? The painting is about greed. Not blind in here, a 1.5 by 1.2 meter mixed media on canvas. The central figure is self-portraiture. And the painting is about being true to the inner mind. has developed over the last few years. Primarily it was um, figurative nudes based on art historic narratives but placing the female in a more contemporary guise, staring out at the spectator, questioning the, the gaze and including various symbolism which is quite important for my work. I have moved on over the last few years from more figurative nudes to sublime portraits of some very very special people I'm quite taken with the exuberance of certain characters that occupy society and provide so much joy and beauty and add so much to the world and the urge to just portray this into paintings is quite strong and again I use certain narratives and symbolism which add to the work and I've discovered an absolute pure joy of colour which I never had in the past to that degree. <laughs> The 
delighted to be part of this new show with Inspire Gallery called Savage. The piece I'm putting in is called Interstellar. It's 160 by 160 centimeters on a deep edge canvas. Symmetrical decorative piece of art. It has these hidden triangles, I guess, or shaded triangles in the background with 192 squares um, to the foreground, uh, giving an illusion of something happening, um, I guess, behind the scenes. Jennifer Smith. I am an Irish visual artist based in the Netherlands. I received a BA of Fine Art Painting in 2005 from Limerick School of Art and Design. I create abstract expressionist paintings. The female nude is central to my work. My main objective is to challenge how we look at the female body in contemporary society. However, normal conventions of beauty do not drive my work. I am often trying to respond to a narrative influenced by social media, gender roles and representations of the female body and perceptions of female beauty. I have exhibited my work in Ireland, London and the Netherlands. The paintings on exhibit are from a series called Scapes. <music> Ignacio. I'm a fine artist from Mexico City and I'm delighted to share what I do with everyone at Inspire Gallery Dublin today. Um, I call my style pop realism as it is realism with a tender touch of uh, cartoons. And this self portrait we're presenting today is very personal. It reflects my emotions uh, through the many symbols and colors I use. It expresses the pain uh, I've gone through um, in life. And uh, for example, as I'm dressed as a virgin, it means that my body has been subjected to religion. Uh, the black tears mean that I'm misunderstood. The crown of flowers mean that I still dream of a better world.
Hi, my name is Maria Nuna McDermott. My influences lie mainly in rural Ireland. It is in these magical places that share a colloquial history where stories and the people are often ingrained in the landscape. I like to think of myself as a visual storyteller, a Califasa, because there is a narrative to all my paintings, whether it is figurative or landscape. My inspiration lies in everything around me, all that I see and all that I hear. I seem to store them all up in my mind as images that eventually translate onto canvas or as pieces of writing in the form of poetry. My paintings then become the text and you the reader. And as a reader, you're challenged to participate and choose your own journey, thus enabling the story to live all over again. Gallery in the Westbury Mall off Grafton Street. Invisible War 2019 to blank was inspired by the COVID-19 pandemic. It's an invisible war insofar as we don't know where the enemy, this virus, is and we don't know when it will end. The old broken mannequin is painted in darks and greys where the spray-painted soldier's helmet sits on. Uh, there's a real sense of fear out there about this virus and the face mask on the mannequin reflects this everyday scenario that we see around the world. Frank O'D here again. My second uh, piece is entitled Zoom. Since the lockdown in Ireland and across many countries around the world, the Zoom communications app has become one of the primary ways people have and continue to use to connect with people, whether socially or whether working from home. I had salvaged an old road sign from a junkyard. Uh, in its previous life, I imagine it would have stood by the roadside while cars and bikes and buses and whatever would zoom by. So this little man is lying on his couch on a zoom call. Neve O'Connor, I'm a visual mixed media artist based in County Monaghan, originally from Dublin. With three pieces in the show, the first I will speak of is called Safe House. This is an acrylic mixed media painting on canvas, large format, approximately 108 by 108 centimetres framed. This piece actually is just back from Switzerland. It got locked down in Europe on its return from Switzerland and this is its premiere showing here in Ireland. It was a piece made specifically for a show I was attending in Switzerland called Arts Famine female arts movement and a show that was badly affected by COVID. The piece was made to honour women everywhere as a beacon of hope for women against antagonists everywhere. The second piece presented during this Savage show is an encaustic work on paper mounted and framed this piece is called Pandemonium. It is a series of reds, pinks, blacks and whites and it speaks of my feelings about the pandemic and society in general at this time when so much is out of our control. <laughs> And final piece, again in response to the pandemic, new work of 2020, is a piece called Here and Now. It is an acrylic painting on canvas, um, approximately 85 by 110 centimetres, also framed and again 
semi-large format. This piece is a direct response to my feelings during the pandemic. It is as much to do with social critique as it is to do with painting. And I find this is how much of my work manifests. Thank you.